today I want to talk about Chipotle. Chipotle was recently in the news for reporting a 48% net income growth and a 20% um, revenue growth for the last three months. Although impressive, that wasn't as high as what analysts had hoped to see. Um, Chipotle had shown a 27.8% revenue growth in 2014. Currently at a $635.60 stock price as of April 24th, um, along with expected prior growth of 27.8%. If the company had continued their 27.8% growth, that stock price would have maybe been poised to increase further. So what we do is we take a look at, based on the expected revenue growth expectations, we build out a model, we look at the cash flow, we discount the cash flow, and we compare the value, the present value of the discounted cash flows with the expected market returns. And we see, does the value of the cash flows produced by the business support the current market valuation? So had the company continued with its 27.8% revenue growth, yes, actually the $635 would look um, comparatively low. Um, but now that the company's growth expectations has been reduced, and if you conservatively assume continued growth of now 15%, then it looks like the value might be slightly high. So this isn't a um, uh, mention of, you know, that the stock price might go down, but this might be a wait and see scenario and to hold on and to see what Chipotle might do to improve their performance in the next quarter. Um, they could certainly look at cutting costs, although I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, they can certainly look at maybe some sort of uh, market environmental situations that might be reset and they might want to reposition themselves to, in, in certain ways that could continue their growth um, and reposition their growth back to the higher 27.8% that was expected before. If that's the case, then the stock price might be appropriately valued. So, you know, in some situations we'd see the value of the current cash flows to be way under or, uh, what, the, what the market expect, or what the value of the market is showing, which um, suggests that the stock is um, potentially uh, overvalued, or you might see situations where the cash produced from the business, or the present value of the cash produced from the business is showing a value much higher than what the market is showing. And in that case, those are pretty strong buy opportunities. Um, in this case, though, given that adjusted low growth expectation, again, it doesn't mean the company's in a bad position, but it might be, it might uh, uh, give some investors pause to take a look at what they're going to do to hopefully reset and bring themselves back into the prior growth um, expectations that analysts were hoping. So if you have any questions, please feel free to look us up at New York School of Finance. And thanks for watching Trading on Technicals.